Hi, Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Pisces. This is your weekly reading for June 29th through July 5th. Okay. I hope all is well. Thank you guys for all the support too. Let's get started. I already shuffled all the decks. We're going to just get right on into this. Rest and rejuvenation. Crown chakra. And balance. Deception and envy at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So you just been chilling in the past, I could say, or just trying to kind of thinking of a situation, contemplating over and over. It seemed like you uh, could have been around somebody that was probably deceptive or envy. This could be friends or whoever it is. They just was jealous. Okay, but you kind of overcoming this. Uh, you, in a, in a re, I feel like more recently you started listening to your intuition and start connecting more with the divine. You have two sevens here, starting to get more in your spirituality. Coming into the future, there's going to need to be some type of balance, okay? Especially with this uh, deception and envy. Also, if someone's being fake, then just kind of like listen to your intuition, especially with this, because you fully connected with that coming out. So you can kind of see through people facades or what they doing to you. Okay, Pisces. Let's see. Because, you know, with that mask, somebody can pr pr be pretending to be your friend, pretending to be like cool with you. You never know how deception and envy is, but it's, it's, it's coming up for a reason. Let's see. Two cards, divine. What's going on here? What? This is about full moon, so something coming into fruition. You have state of equilibrium, priestess, beautiful, self-aware, harmonious, radiant, harvesting. So you became more of aware of your spiritual gifts for some of you. And then you have will of fortune, fate, karma, cycles, forces of the universe, destiny, synchronicities, luck of the draw. <clears throat> heaviness emotional baggage is at the bottom of the deck with Pisces if there's somebody around you that they kind of they always kind of pessimistic or down they got a lot of emotional baggage okay and that's what your intuition trying to tell you or I said telling you it's time to relieve a lot of this energy maybe it's like you want something and you want like things to work out in your favor, but maybe somebody did something to the, in the past to you that you've been healing from and you're trying to kind of like move forward. And so that's why this emotional baggage is coming through. And <clears throat> I feel like that's just a cycle you was going through. But things are destined to kind of like balance out this two twos. So this could be about a decision you need to make to, to kind of balance something out or a solution to something. Let's get some tarot. Hmm. Okay, I got the deck upside down. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, something need to uh something needs to give. But you see everything clearly, so don't doubt yourself with the sun being under here. You have the five of swords. Hold on, let me fix this so you can see better. Knight of Cups. Chariot, King of Wands, Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, um, clarifying the Five of Swords, Knight of Wands, clarifying a uh, Knight of Cups. Then you have the Knight of, wow, Knight of Swords clarifying the Chariot. 
the Fool with the King of Wands and Wheel of Fortune again. Wow. It's like you've been waiting on something. It's something you truly, truly want. This could be love. Okay. Pisces, I don't... I'm not getting this as a love situation, but it could be. However, it's something that you really, truly, truly want. And it's like you desire it. It's... It, there, it's like you want to move forward with this and that's what you've been working on in the past trying to figure out how can I get something becoming more self-aware of yourself things that may have to hold you back okay and then it's like you connect it more with to the divine by in this uh, rest state and that's where you're and you start noticing your spiritual gifts however uh, Pisces right now you kind of it's somebody you need to cut out because it's like they kind of disencouraging you are they playing mind games with you and it's like this person is just envious. They deception. They got a lot going on within themselves and they kind of pushing it off on you. OK, they don't want you to be successful or follow your um, follow. It is what you want to do in life. And this could come in uh, various ways. This could be somebody, a friend, a family or even a lover in certain situations. Whatever it is, is that they doing stuff with uh, five of swords and envy over here. They doing stuff to try to stop you. So it's like you got to cut out the noise, even if this is if this is you. Then it's like cut out the mental chatter that's stopping you from moving forward and following it, what it is you want to do, no matter what that is. Because moving in the future, you have two cards of balance with the chariot and um, the, 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 um, the justice card. But this is about um, balancing out. I'm getting with this balance, like balancing out like your spirituality with like the 3D type in a way so you can move forward and be successful in whatever this is. Maybe um, I'm getting like a dreamy energy and it's just like in order for you to move forward and be successful, you're going to have to see the truth in all these situations so you can kind of charge ahead. OK, and, and do what it is you want. So be mindful of that. It's like you you destined for whatever this is. And uh, but still uh, that person, whoever this is, if this somebody else, don't mind him. But in order for you to like not be too weighed down, it's kind of like balancing both uh, the light and the shadow. So you're going to have to start seeing stuff more from like an um, earthly standpoint, too, especially if this is in regards to like a dream or a business you you have. I think that's what's hindering you. If these is other people and you trying to be like more of like in the light, I'm trying to be. You know, um, <clears throat> how can I put it? Like, it's like more of you trying to do good, like you mean good, but you got to start seeing people exactly for who they are, because that could be holding you back too. like trying to be so light to where you, you, you kind of everything people do, you kind of pushing it off and trying to be like positive pop. You're going to have to start seeing the truth. Like it's dark with the light. Okay. So, and that's what this is saying. If that's the uh, situation it is now, well, why the, why is this coming up? Is because you, you going down a whole new chapter with this fool and whatever it is you want, you very good at going to get this. It's something you desire and you could build you a, a beautiful life in whatever standpoint this is, whether it's work, career or a uh, work career. You know what I'm trying to say? Or love, friendships, whatever. But one of your biggest hindrances is ignoring people negativity or just ignoring the darker sides that you need to kind of integrate in order to move forward. Okay. Nothing is all a hundred percent like good. So you, that's what this is saying. Like, um, in order for you to become strong and solid in your way forward, you have to see both aspects of it. So you can wiggle. You have to see the dark in order to avoid it. You know what I'm saying? You have to like uh, present that part of you sometimes. Sometimes you have to kind of get to a place where you like, hold on, don't, don't, you know, don't try to stop me or don't play mind games with me. You have to stand up for yourself. So that's is what this is saying. Like, I feel like more than anything. And the reason why this happened, because you have the potential here to really cut out the BS people when they playing them games and doing stuff like that and really change your life in a major way. And it's going to work out what's best for you. Okay. Go towards your fate and your, whatever it is you want. But it's a sense here is that 
what you kind of unclear about is starting to see people truly for who they are and where they at. Okay. That way you can wiggle around them. And that's why this is saying like, even, even with your, your crown chakra are just like getting messages from the divine. It's not like sometimes they'll send you like, Hey, this person don't mean you well. That's not like an evil thing. They telling you to kind of get back off from this person. This person not really try. They not, they don't really have your best interests at heart. And that's the biggest, I think that's what this is saying. Oh, I know that's what they're saying here. And that no matter what it is, even if it's love, like, if some, I mean, it's no point to keep investing in, in a love situation. If this person playing mind games and stuff with you, it's not going to really get nowhere. And that's what they saying is like you pushing, you trying to carry on <clears throat> too much of, um, other people issues as your own. So you got to drop that, drop that off. Like if somebody just not willing to uh, be committed, that's not nothing wrong with you. That's just where that person is at. Okay. It's, it's manifesting. New desires, new desire reality is already present in, present in your life. Excuse me. Vibration alignment astrology gives edge. Visualization. Also, <clears throat> see yourself achieving the highest possible outcome. Experience feelings and details. And yeah, this is about high vibes too. That's about raising your vibration. But you can't do that if you got people holding you back or holding you down or just like... um. I don't know. I'm <laughs> beliefs come true. Also, your beliefs create your reality. Recognize and change emotions. Reprogramming subconscious mind. Serenity too. So it's about finding peace and just kind of getting away from those who not saying affirmations is also here. Okay, Pisces, that's the message I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.